Hi there, welcome to C programming tutorial. And I'm a software engineer with 15 plus years of experience in C programming and C programming. Uh, but in this tutorial, we'll be covering C programming. Um, actually, it's going to be a series of tutorials, not just one tutorial. Um, a series of tutorials that we will be covering all the aspects, each and every aspect of C programming in, in quite a bit of details. So in this tutorial, we will be just we'll be sh I'll be showing you how to get started. Uh, so to to uh, to get started, what we will have to do is to basically download a compiler slash integrated development environment IDE uh, from a website. It's totally free. You can do that, and if you already have a compiler set up, you know uh, that's fine too. Um, I am I'm I'm not going to be assuming in 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 this. Uh, this entire course, as I, I would I would call it, uh, I am not going to assume that you know you already have uh, an experience in C or introduction to C or exposure to C. Uh, I will just assume that you are total beginner and 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 this is how I'll be basically teaching you uh, programming in C. So assuming that you don't have any compiler and stuff, what you need to do is to go to this website here and I'll be posting the link uh, in the uh, video description and even on on this uh, video itself and then scroll down to where it says um, downloads and we are looking for this download here dev C++ 5.0 beta 9.2 or or any other version you know it may be you know depending upon how long it has been since I made this video the version number might change basically what we are trying to do here is looking for the version of Dev C++ that has uh, GCC you know GNU C++ compiler in it now I've been talking about C++ um, you know it's the the C programming language is actually the subset of C++ so everything that C++ has is um, everything that C has is is part of C++ so you know if we if we have C++ compiler it can compile the C programs because C programs are you know they have the instruction set which is uh, a subset of C++ um, don't worry about it if you don't understand the terminologies like compiler and uh, integrated development environment and all this stuff you uh, you know don't worry about it I'll be covering it in the subsequent um, tutorials uh, for now just just blindly follow these instructions you know click on this and it will start uh, your download um, I'm using Firefox you might see a little bit different uh, dialog boxes here so don't worry about it just you know uh, just follow the instructions our purpose is to save the file um, and you know uh, as you can see I just downloaded it before also um, you double click on on this you know run it depending upon your browser you may have a different way of running it in Firefox you know it will show you a do downloads window just double click on it and it will start running um, you say run and it basically says that you know make sure you don't have any other um, version installed um, and then choose the language which is English and click on I agree and pretty much install everything that it's trying to install and then it's showing this directory where it's going to be installing um, uh, this compiler and IDE uh, just click on install and just leave it in over there in, in by the default directory uh, it will finish installing and then it's asking whether you want to keep it for all users or just you know yourself it doesn't matter what you respond to it I'll say yes for all users and for now just call it make it uncheck and then finish the weird thing about this is unusual thing about this uh, environment is, uh, in, with this program is basically it doesn't create any shortcuts so let's try to create the shortcut so that we can uh, you know just click on that shortcut next time and uh, be able to access uh, this software so here you can see uh, what you need to what I did was I went to um, start menu 
run. I mean, my taskbar is up here. Your taskbar, usually the taskbar is down here below at the, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, wherever it is, you know, just go to start and then click on run and you will see this dialog box and type C colon backslash and then press OK and you will get a, a, a Windows Explorer with C colon uh, directory and you can see this is where it has installed that compiler uh, if you go inside it you will see this dev C++ icon here uh, what we need to do is right click on it and I have a whole bunch of garbage here you will probably won't have this many options but you should see a create shortcut you just click on it and it will create the shortcut right here in that directory we don't want it in, the, in this directory what we want is, is it right here in, on the desktop so that we can access it next time easily so we will just drag it down on anywhere on the desktop and it will move from here to here and we'll just leave it right here um, and then double click on it to run it here you go so we have it running right here and what we need to do is one thing that you need to do is uh, um, is go to tools and then compiler options and then you will probably have it like this because I already had it installed before so it remembers it um, you will probably have have this um, uh, like this both of these boxes empty what you need to do is to click on this checkbox and write minus G and then click on this box and write minus G this will help us debug later on um, then what you do is to basically open a new project uh, every time when you try to you know write a source code uh, uh, any program what you will have to do is to basically open a project and then choose console application and then give the name to the project you know I'll just leave it to project one and then it will ask you where to save um, you can basically um, and you know you could basically create a, a directory I have a directory created already called projects uh, you will not have that directory don't worry, worry about this step uh, what you need to do is to click on this button which has you know uh, which is for the new folders um, just click on it and it will show you new folder here and then create projects directory here um, and then double click on the directory to go inside that directory and then save as soon as you will save it you will see this little C program don't worry about it we will cover it what it means but for now I just wanted to let you know how to create a new project and there inside that project there is a file main.cpp what you need to do is to save it and it will basically you know bring up the same projects folder here and click save this is how we are going to be saving any program that we are going to create uh, if there is anything that you do not understand here don't worry about it the only thing you need to do is to basically be able to go to that website and the link of that website is in the description and, and in, on top of the this video uh, screen as well uh, and just download that software and install it and create a shortcut on the desktop and that's all you need to do in this tutorial you know that's all you need to learn out of this tutorial subsequently we'll be learning about creating the projects what the compiler means and what it does and what kind of uh, what what C programming language is what a programming language means and all this it, everything comes next for now this tutorial just shows you how to start get started just how to set up okay I hope you like this video uh, if you do please subscribe and I will be basically creating all those cool tutorials easy to understand to get you going in programming in C thank you